Hi, this is Piotr Karli and this is Inspirations for Presentations. As always, I focus on simplicity, so let's make it as simple as possible. In this series of videos, I show how you can easily create visually appealing slides for your business or sales presentation. Before we get started, please click the like button, subscribe to our channel and click the bell. Also, remember to subscribe to my free training on simple business presentations. You can find the link in the description. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily create really impressive slide with the dashboard full of data. Tables, boring calculations shown as a plain text. No, this is too boring. You won't grab anyone's attention with this. Let's try to do something much more interesting, yet still simple. So simple that anyone who deals with PowerPoint on a regular basis will be able to do it. Simplicity, that's the key. So first, I put a pie chart on a slide. Not very big, not too small, just like this. To make all the items the same size, I will type in the same digits. How many items should I have there? I would go for six. Now I have to rotate this chart a bit you can find the rotation option in the data series formatting options. Here you can increase the number to 30 degrees. This way if we change the bottom items to white, it will be a nice visual, just like we want. But it's not the final result. We can change the type of the chart to donut chart and next we can reduce the whole size in it. That looks much better. It's just more visually lighter. I prefer that way. We can change the colors so that they would match some kind of indicators. Red for low performance, yellow for medium and green for good. Now the pointer. The simplest possible pointer is a very narrow triangle. We can leave it just like that, but I will add a small circle beneath it. It will be a bit nicer. Now the text. We format it properly and we set the pointer to an appropriate scale. Yes, but scale. We forgot to put the scale, so let's type in the lowest and the highest possible value here. And this is the indicator for product A. I also have two other products, so we will arrange this stuff in three columns. Some alignments. And now control G, which means grouping all the selected items, and I duplicate the whole set. Now some arrangements. And here we have it, the top row of our dashboard slide is ready. Now I insert a shape like this and by grabbing its little yellow circle inside, I change it to a capsule form. I change the color and insert a line. 
This will be our risk indicator. Now I insert another shape, similar to the previous one, but now it's vertical. And that's great. Let's duplicate this set and change the colors of the pointers. Now it's time for the third part of the slide. Here I don't have much space, so I will use the same horizontal shape. It will be the awareness indicator. I type in the number and I'll search for an icon. I duplicate all these icons using Ctrl D option. Now I want to visualize 78%. How can I do it using such icons? Very simple. Paste a shape, for example a rectangle, and cover some part of this group of icons with this shape. And then change its color to the same as the background and make it a bit transparent. You can find the transparency option if you click the appropriate shape by right-clicking inside the shape and then go to the panel on the right. Very simple and quite impressive, right? How do you like this slide? Please leave a comment and share your thoughts. Ok, thank you for watching. Please remember to go to my free training. It's a simple training on how to start your presentation with. You can find the link in the description. You can also start following me on Twitter. If you want to master your presentation skills, check out my course Professional PowerPoint Presentations. It is a concise and thorough course for anyone willing to become master of business type presentations. Are you a manager and want to speed up your work with presentations? Or willing to impress your boss and clients with stunning presentations? Go to the link in the description. Want some more tips and tricks? 
subscribe and stay tuned.